Hey guys, Pastor Mark Bailey, Connect Church, Virginia Beach, Virginia, the Northeast Overseer for Redemption Fellowship. It's a real honor. Appreciate Pastor Ron allowing me, Miss Ashley asking me to be a part of the Wednesday Wisdom. So it's a real privilege to be able to serve as an overseer under Apostle Ron. Just appreciate being connected to him and to all of you and to Redemption Fellowship. It's an honor to serve with all of you guys, my fellow overseers. It's such an honor to be in such that group, and I am truly blessed to be there. <clears throat> I wanted to share with you today something I was looking at and uh, reading. In the First Chronicles, we know that it tells us in 13, 14, that the Ark of the Covenant, the presence of God on earth, was brought to Obed-Edom's house. And it's a message that we all know and have heard. But it's just tremendous presence, that that, that uh, message that it really touches me. And, and I love the presence of God. I want to be in the presence of God. The Bible says that in three months, just for three months, that the, the Ark of the Covenant was there. And it was dwelling there. And everything got blessed in his household. Everything improved. Everything was better. The cattle, the children, everything was anointed because it was there in the presence. Two chapters later, chapter later, they start moving. Two chapters later, they show that Obed-Edom so got so really addicted, connected, in love with the presence of God. He said, man, I, I got to go. I'm going to the temple. I'm going to the tent of David. I'm going to go be a gatekeeper at the tent to guard the presence. And that's something that some of us need to do better. We need to guard the presence of God to where that we watch over that. But he just wanted to be close. He just wanted to stay close and connected to the presence of God. And I can tell you, I have a real desire for that. I have a real desire to be in the presence of God and to desire the presence of God. I grew up in church, and I, I'm a church kid, you know, grandparents that were involved in ministry, and we were always, I'm an electrician by trade, and we are always, my family was working on the church and helping and doing stuff, so ran the church all the time, maybe too much, maybe too familiar. I was working on the naval base with a, another electrician, and we were in the chapel, sir, in a chapel working doing electrical work, replacing stuff. And I'm in the front of the sanctuary. She, that she was a lady electrician way back in the back. And I said, hey, we need this up here. And she's, ah! Oh, there's, there's no service going on. Everything's okay. It's cool. It's, you know, it's, she, this is the house of God. You can't raise your voice like that. Come and walked all the way to the front to tell me I couldn't raise my voice. And I realized there I, I, I'd become maybe too familiar. But she gave honor to the house. I was reading the scripture in 1 Corinthians 3. The Bible says, what? Don't you know you? Don't you know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit? And I thought, how many things do we do in our bodies, in our presence, that we wouldn't do in the house of God, in the building? But we think things, we speak things, we act ways that we would never go to the church building and do. And how much more are we not the representation of the Ark of the Covenant, the presence of God, housing the presence of God in us, in me and you, than any just building. It's just brick and mortar. That was my perspective of it. But I know that I house the Holy Spirit I house the presence of God and God is in me. And do I honor him? Do I act like it? Do I represent his presence properly? You and I carry that responsibility. You and I are the temple. Are we carrying and handling the presence properly? You and I need to handle it. We need to walk. Bill Johnson says, if a, a dove is the Holy Spirit represented sitting on our shoulder. How do you walk with a dove on your shoulder? Not to scare it, not to move it. We need to walk as if the Holy Spirit, because he is in us, 
Oh, I love the Holy Spirit. We need to dwell with the Holy Spirit. Stay in this presence. Follow after his hunger and thirst after his presence. Follow after him. Let's get in his presence and let's stay. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the opportunity to being able to share with you today. I'm going to share one more thing with you. We had a meeting with Pastor Ron the other day. Denise Boggs was with us, and I just felt like I needed to share this with you, that she's, because of your connection, the benefit of being with Redemption Fellowship, you have the opportunity to be connected with Denise Boggs and be connected with Living Waters. It's a great time of uh, opportunity that you have for some counseling for your church, training for your church, or e even you personally. So I'm just going to encourage you just as an endorsement, take advantage of those uh, opportunities, of those benefits that you've been given. They're really great resources, really great opportunities. All of it's online now. Really, really opportune time for you to be able to do that. So just wanted to just put a plug in there and just say, please take a, advantage of that. Thank you. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you real soon, I hope.